Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video of so for uh, some recent um, purchases I made. I guess you could call this kind of like a toy haul video. Um, some of the purchases I made in the last uh, few months. I um, just wanted to do you know a quick video. Uh, so the first one uh, I found was the Big Boss Man action figure. Um, I think I found this probably at Target. And uh, as you can see here, uh, sorry about the glare from the light, but. Uh, it comes with like you know the nightstick, handcuffs. Um, also comes with like the uh, the baseball hat. Um, you could switch some hands around. Uh, when I was a kid, you know I got into wrestling in 1991. So uh, I you know as a kid I was just I was always like what well, was like a huge like uh, big boss man fan. Here's a picture on, of him on the back. And so here are some of the other guys in the series. Uh, what's cool about you know when WWE comes out with a, like a new series of action figures, they always include some legend in the set. So this one uh, has the Big Boss Man. Uh, so uh, you know this is, is this is pretty cool. You know usually with WWE figures, I'll open them up and I'll, I have like a shelf above my desk with uh, a bunch of them. I like to collect some of the legends, so I don't like any of the newer guys. I don't really collect. Uh, the other one I found at Target is Hulk Hogan, uh, this is Ultimate Edition set. Um, I have a bunch of Hulk Hogan action figures. I don't have all, all of them, but I mean, I saw this at um, Target. The, now, the, these ones are, are, are expensive. They're like, I think this was like 30, like around like $30. So I was like kind of hesitant, like, do I really need it? But I felt like a lot of with these like WWE action figures, like if you don't, you, if you, if you don't buy it, you won't find them again. So uh, I think this set came came also with Mr. T. Uh, I, I really enjoy this set because it's kind of it's kind of like that throwback. Um, it comes with the belt, um, and th this belt is pretty much, I guess, the pre like um, because uh, he had like the, that eighty six belt. Uh, if, if you know, because like for long time we had like the um, the wing angle belt that it was from like eighty eight to ninety eight. But before that, he had a different belt. Uh, I think a lot of people call it the '86 belt or something. He only, he only wore I think from like '86. This is actually like I guess you would call it like the 1985. This is like or '84, '85 belt that he had. Uh, so uh, that was kind of cool. Um, here's the back. You know, and you know, it comes with um, different heads that you can swap out. Uh, comes out with you know the, uh, the Hulkster Hulkamania T-shirt. Uh, it comes with um, the uh, of course the belt, different hands. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. And he also has the uh, the cross. And uh, you know, I guess you could say this is the Hogan from probably I would say like the like 1985 Hulk Hogan. And so that's that's pretty cool. Um, another thing, moving on to uh, you know off of like wrestling figures, um, I saw that this at uh, Walmart. Um, I guess McFarlane is uh, producing or, or the Superpowers uh, toys. I always just find it cool when they when they come out with like toys that were popular when I was a kid or a couple years, you know, like in the past, and they kind of revamp it or reproduce it. Because, you know, as you can see, they did it with, with the Master Universe. I got some of the, you know, I, I guess the ones that came out in kind of like a, a retro and some of the uh, Ghostbusters, so I, you know, things I, you know, try to recollect the things that I had as a kid, you know, I guess it bring, brings back memories. I don't know, I think I had a, had this Superman as a kid, um, it looks definitely familiar, uh, but I, I thought it was, you know, Superman is probably one of my favorite uh, superheroes, and I, I always enjoy the, the, the classic Superman suit, I know nowadays they have different, like, you know, outfits, the black outfit, all that. This is, I, I'm always a fan of the classic Superman look. That's why. And you got other people in, in, in the uh, in the series. You got Batman. Uh, you have Darkseid. And, you know, and I think they also had the Flash and the Green Lantern, I believe. But, you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, another thing uh, I got, I found, I didn't even know these, these, these were being released, uh, Star Trek figures. When I was a kid, you know, I used to be a huge Star Trek fan. Still am. Uh, just like I used to like watching Next Generation on Saturday uh, and all the movies and stuff. So I used to collect the toys as a kid. But uh, yeah, I, I got this. I guess this is a, a new uh, series. I guess uh, this is like 35 years or anniversary. Uh, so we got Picard. 
Um, so this is from Next Generation. It looks like they're producing like three action figures. Uh, so they have you know John, uh, Captain Picard, uh, Data, and uh, Riker for this set. I don't know if they're going to be coming out with different Next Generation um, figures. It's really cool because if you do open it up, this thing is kind of like a stand that you can you can put the figure on. Looks like it comes with a, a laptop, a phaser, um, and uh, it even says it on here, a tricorder. So it's, it's pretty cool. I always enjoyed when I was a kid playing with these uh, Star Trek figures. And then I also had to get uh, Captain Kirk. And I guess this line is the classic Star Trek a movie series. And in this series, um, it looks like it's, you know, uh, well, Admiral James T. Kirk, Captain Spock, and Khan. Uh, so I guess from, uh, this is, I guess, from Star Trek Two. So I guess it's, yeah, you can see here it's 40, the 40th anniversary of uh, Star Trek Two, which came out in 1982. I actually recently watched that movie because every all the Star Trek films now are on um, Amazon not uh, Amazon, uh, HBO Max, if you have that, you can watch all the films, and I, I'm, I'm trying to rewatch all the Star Trek films again, and, um, so, Star Trek 2, a lot of people really like that movie, I don't, I'm not like, I mean, it's a good movie, but I don't think it was like, I don't think it would be one of my, you know, my, it wouldn't be my number one, uh, Star Trek film, but this, this is pretty cool, though, and hopefully, they'll come out with different, um, figures for, you know, the other movies, the other figure um, I got yesterday from, from Walmart, uh, another wrestling figure, is uh, The Undertaker, this WWF or WWE Superstar Series. Uh, the only reason I got this is this kind of reminds me of the figures I grew up playing, the Hasbro line, uh, and this really reminds me uh, of, that, of, of that line. Um, and you can see the other other ones in the series, which is kind of cool, Undertaker, Papa Shango, the Million Dollar Man and Mankind. Uh, I got this one because I thought this was going to be the hardest one to find. So, and I've actually never seen this in stores before. So I was like, you know, let me let me get that. And I just enjoy it. It's just such a throwback to the Hasbro figures, and uh, I was just like the old school Undertaker look. Uh, so I don't, I don't think it's. I know WWE once had a series. It was called like um they did like retros of the Hasbro figures. And um, I don't know. This is kind of like a like a like a new version of it, uh, but I just wanted to get that just because it's just such a just reminds me of of those Hasbro figures that I grew up playing. So that's pretty much it. Uh, not sure, you know, might be opening up some of these, you know, um, putting them, displaying them. But uh, that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.